this video we are going to be taking a look at some clips of MMA fighters that favor having their limbs snapped or being choked unconscious instead of simply tapping the canvas a few times. Do they have too much heart? Or do they just hate losing that much? Some fighters mentality is kill or be killed. Whatever their mindset is, you are about to witness these warriors go out on their shield. First up, let's take a look at the fight between Shinya Aoki and Maizuto Hirota. This match took place in 2009, during the K1 Dynamite event. Aoki is an A-class shoot wrestler, also known as a catch wrestler. He holds black belts in BJJ and Judoka. Let's see how much talk this Japanese fighter is capable of. Aoki getting the fight down to the ground, not good for Hirota. The first step, Maizuto's arm is now trapped behind his own back. Now Aoki is putting some pressure on Hirota's arm. I wonder if Hirota wished he had tapped here. Fuck. For the love of God, just tap out. Um, yeah. Let's watch that again in slow motion. Can your stomach handle it? Don't worry those are just sound effects. However this break is about as brutal as it comes, and while we think that Hirota decided not to tap, I wonder maybe his hand was stuck in between Aoki's legs. Therefore he never had the chance to, but why not verbal submission then? Also notice the celebration from Aoki, he seemed pretty proud about snapping Hirota's arm in two, flipping him the bird and sticking his tongue out. He definitely wasn't sorry about what he had just done. On to the next clip. The next fight took place during the MMA Platinum Gloves 3 event. I believe this was an amateur bout, so neither fighter is very experienced. However they do possess the skills to submit. But what about the ability to tap out? Have they learned this? Let's find out. Michael Collins learning how to lose the hard way. Maybe he should take some lessons from Conor McGregor? Just kidding. Hope I didn't make any Conor fans but hurt. Just a little joke. I am a Conor fan too. But how about those scary convulsions afterwards? Definitely disquieting. That's for sure. Here's another fight where one of the competitors' mental strength is a bit much for their bones. The arm becomes overextended. There doesn't seem to be any large pop. Just rubber arm syndrome. This is only the first round. Believe it or not, this fight goes all the way to the third. The fighter that gets caught in the armbar actually appears to win most of the fight. Later on in the fight, as the fighter gets taken down, he grimaces in pain. Maybe the break actually occurred here. Either way, the ref eventually decides to stop the fight after noticing his arm doesn't appear quite right. Let's look at a more recent fight in MMA, Holly Holm vs. Maisha Date. Maisha Tate is credited as one of the pioneers of women's MMA. Her first bout took place back on March 2006. Holly Holm started in the sport of MMA a bit later. Before MMA, she was a very accomplished professional boxer with a record of 32 wins and 2 losses. Holly became a superstar overnight after kicking Ronda Rousey's head into another solar system. Unfortunately for Holly, her title reign was short-lived. However, she wasn't willing to give up her dreams so quickly, so instead, she decided to dream on. This took place during the fifth round. If you remember the fight well enough, Holly was actually dominating the entire fight and Tate's only chance to win at this point was to somehow get the finish. Tate is able to get Holmes back and starts working a rear naked choke, squeezing as if her life is dependent on it. Holly ends up going to sleep while throwing punches at the air. This to see a part 2? Let me know by leaving a comment or by giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks for checking out the video, subscribe for more MMA content.